Hey everyone, welcome to ISO TV with Moray, where you sew and you design. And today we're gonna make a tube top dress or also known as a strapless dress. For this tutorial, you're going to need a sewing machine, elastic, pins and pin cushion, your choice of fabric, I suggest getting a four-way stretch fabric, measuring tape, scissors, a dress that fits you perfectly, and optional, a roller cutter. Do you all remember in the early thousands, the late 90s, there were tube top shirts? Well, I'm noticing that there are a lot of tube top dresses coming out in style right now. So I figured that would be super easy to show you all. It's very simple. Just follow the instructions. So let's start. So take your four-way stretch fabric and lay it flat and fold it along the edge. Remember, just like I told you all, don't fold it in the middle, fold it along the edge. Now take your dress and fold that in half and lay it along the edge of your fabric. Grab your measuring tape and measure how long you want your dress to be. I want my dress to come to about my calves. So, it's a tube top dress, so it's gonna start from right here, right above your breast, and go all the way to my calf. I'm looking at about 43 inches. So I'm gonna lay my measuring tape along the side and cut down about 44 inches. So cut down one inch more than what you would want it to be in length because you wanna leave room for hemming. And also when you go to cut out your fabric, leave enough room for your seam allowance when you take it to your sewing machine. So remember we're making a tube top dress. We don't need any room for any armholes or to attach sleeves or anything. So take your dress and fold it down to where the end of your armpit is in your dress. We're gonna make one big rectangle that fits your body. So go up about two inches just to leave room for um, your, your um, hemming. Cross. and just cut out your frame. So follow your dress that fits you perfectly and leave about an inch, maybe a half of an inch of a seam allowance, depending on how tight you want your dress to be. I want mine to be very fitted and sexy. And remember when you're cutting, cut down one more inch than what you would like your dress to be because you wanna leave room for hemming at the bottom. So I want my dress to be about 43 inches. I'm gonna cut all the way down to 44 inches. So here is the front of my tube top dress. Now let's cut out the back part of your tube top dress. Fold your fabric along the edge. And use the piece that you just cut out as the front part and just fold that in half and lay that on the fabric to cut out your back part. So now you have two pieces, your front and your back of your tube top dress. Now what I noticed about this is because we're cutting one big rectangle out, you might get a little confused as to what's the top and what's the bottom. The best way to figure that out is look for the part that kind of indents at your waistline and then goes back out to your hips. That'll be your top. So just in case you get confused. So now let's take our two pieces and always remember if you have a fabric that has a right and a wrong side, pin the right sides together, okay? And then when you turn it inside out, once you're done sewing, you have sewn it correctly. 
I'm using a fabric where either side doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna start pinning it together and take it to my sewing machine. Place your sewing machine on a zigzag stitch and let's sew it down. So now that we have our sides of our dress sewn down, we want to get our elastic and measure across the top of our chest. Okay. So once you have that measured, you want to measure at least an inch less than that because you want it to be kind of snug at the top and not be able to just fall down. So cut an inch smaller from what you measured, all right? Take the edge of your elastic and sew it together using zigzag stitch. This part of attaching the elastic is completely up to you on how you want to do it. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to take the part that we sewn down and to make things easier, just because I know everyone is a beginner, I'm going to pair that up with the side that is on the seam. You could put it in the middle, but then that'll take a lot of coordination on trying to figure out where the middle is and making sure you sew it correctly just to be safe. Just put the part that you sewn down on the elastic and attach it to the seam. That'll make it just easier because it's for you and you're a beginner, you're not selling these. So just do that for it, just to begin with. So once I have it attached to that, I'm just gonna pin it down all around. your elastic is going to be shorter than your fabric. So in order to get it to stay, you're, when you go to sew on zigzag stitch, you're gonna have to pull the elastic slightly so it can measure out to the same length of your fabric, okay? So now that we have it pinned down, we're gonna start at the seam and sew it on zigzag stitch and pull the elastic just a little bit, not too much, just so it fits with the fabric. You have sewn the elastic to the fabric. So take the dress and the elastic. This is how it looks inside out. Now fold it like this. Okay? Now that you have it folded like that, with your elastic up under the fabric and you still got everything inside out, take it to your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch all the way around. Turn your dress upside down and let's hem the bottom. So you do one fold and then another fold and pin it down all the way around. Once you pin it all the way around on that double fold at the bottom to do your hem, Take it to your sewing machine or zigzag stitch and you are all done.